You work to make a living, but you give to make a life. Find good mentors. Surround yourself with people who are better than you. I think it's important we talk to all sections of British society and not the traditional establishment. Yes, this is social responsibility, but I far prefer to think of it as social opportunity. A lot of people wonder, a lot of young entrepreneurs wonder whether or not you need a really original idea. You know, a key ingredient of success is spotting an opportunity and then being fortunate enough, lucky enough to be able to take advantage of that opportunity. I, I've been very fortunate in my life to have uh, incredible mentors. But mentorship is, is two ways. You know, when I meet youth today, actually I get it so much more out of the mentorship than I feel I give back. I think, uh, you know, once you're privileged and lucky to be successful in business, then there's a sense of responsibility to say, give back to the people who've helped you and the society and the community that's helped you. If we're going to build a genuinely more trusted, ethical form of business, it has to have two things. One is a sense of community. And I think the other fundamental thing is trying to embed values in business. It's our BME communities that are often the source of a lot of dynamism and creativity in business. Actually, we're the biggest source of philanthropic contribution to local communities, so we've got a lot to learn and we've got to engage with them. Values uh, are very important. You know, I think uh, when you're starting in business, if you're starting a new business, it's very important to think, what, what are the values of that business? Charitable giving. It's a very personal thing. Community foundations do not have any bias, save one, to encourage people to support their own communities. We encourage every bit of philanthropy that anybody wants to do. We simply ask that whatever anybody does, please will you keep a little bit of what you do for your own backyard. Through local giving and through local engagement, you create a social capital. But to me, voluntary organisations are also a basis through which what Vince was talking about, creating trust, ethics and value. Because to me, it's the engagement. They are a learning place of how you get engaged, how you become involved. I still, as an entrepreneur, I still enjoy making money or scoring the goals, but now I score the goals for my foundation rather than for myself. Community foundations are at last beginning to be taken seriously. And one very important part of the armory is the Beacon Awards. It's an opportunity to celebrate the extraordinary generosity of some of you in this room, but of all those who recognise community, be it nationally or regionally or locally, and support it. What advice can you give young people for their aspirations as entrepreneurs? This is a, is a very good career route, and this is where Britain has changed in the last half century. Mm -hmm. Every university now has an entrepreneur society, and they're getting support and advice and encouragement right. from their mentor. Do you have any plans to regulate the issue of internship and how people are treated. What we have to be careful of is preventing some of the more unscrupulous companies taking advantage of that in the way you describe. But I don't want to decry uh, work experience because it, it can be a positive for both sides. Is there more that we can do together with government and business together to support the, the increase in trust for businesses? I'm in favour of philanthropy. <laughs> I, it's, it's a virtuous thing and uh, I'm in favour of it being incentivised. Government's a, a bit careful about it, but in principle that's what we should be doing. We've got a massive economic task, but this isn't just a task for economists and accountants. It's also about restoring trust and values, and I like to think that many of the people here and the organisation they represent are doing that. Who's your MP of the year?